Finally, Jesus fucking Christ. What up, YouTube? I've been trying to redo my fucking second half of my live stream for ages now. Seriously fucking frustrating. I try to go live and the internet's gonna fuck with me on it, dude. I'm fucking physically over it. Can I go live? Am I, you know... You know what pisses me off about going live on YouTube is if, like, the internet disconnects from my live chat, the whole video shuts down. That's kind of an inconvenience if you ask me. I've been trying to redo my live video for, like, the last several fucking minutes, dude. And every time my fucking live chat shuts down, the whole fucking video shuts down and freezes up. It's, it's really inconvenient. I like YouTube as a platform. However, I find it to be a tad bit inconvenient when it's like, okay, your live chat shuts off because the internet's being slow. So the whole goddamn video's going to crap out. Fuck that shit. But we're live. We're back at it like we never left. Now what's irritating, and I spent a good deal bitching about it off camera, but now I'm over it. I find the process of getting mad, it's therapeutic to be like, hey, you know what? This is why I'm mad. You yell about it, and then you get over it. Now, can I go live on YouTube and drink some schnapps and hang out with my fans on the weekend? It's fucking ridiculous. On my last live stream, I was going off on my tangents. Be like, fuck sickos. Pretty much how that went. I struggle with Asperger's, schizophrenia, ADHD, OCD, and Tourette syndrome. It's not easy, but I make the best of it. If people were so insecure with my videos, you know, that's why the fucking video cut out and I had to redo it from this section right here. It's because people can't handle my videos. The goddamn government and the fucking trolls hate my videos for some ungodly reason. Well, the trolls hate my videos more than the government does. But we're live on the YouTube again. And if chat cuts out again, it is what it is. I'll just be like, you know what? Fuck it. I was going to redo or continue where I left off on a regular recorded video, but I'm like, fuck that. I don't mind doing a pre-recorded video on occasion, but when I go live, it's because I want to hang out with my fans. And how the fuck am I supposed to hang out with my fans if the internet's being retarded? So, yeah, did I get pissy about the internet off camera? Oh, you bet. I fucking, oh, fuck this and fuck that. And you know what I'm saying? Then I got over it. That's the process of me dealing with a frustrating situation. 
which is true for anyone. I don't care if you have Asperger's or not. My determination is more stubborn than my hot autistic temper. So let that sink in. Do with it what you will. I'm trying to better my temper for me personally, not what I can get out of it socially. No, it's frustrating. I was catching a good buzz. And I'm like, fuck going live for an hour. I'll go live for a couple hours because it's the weekend. I want it to be like one continuous long stream. And the internet wants to be retarded. So it's like, what do you do? You do everything in your power to get back up on live, get back up on the saddle and say, fuck the trolls, fuck the jealous haters, and fuck the stupid internet. Honestly, I want to say this. I appreciate all the patience that people are giving me in my life between my neighbors, my fans, my friends, my landlord, my parents, my siblings, everyone in my life who makes a difference. Thank you for being patient with me and, you know, being there for me. Even if it's just like, the smallest of things, you know. I have not had the easiest life, but I make the best of it. Now, to be honest with you, I've been bullied my entire life and rejected by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade. And it hurts. People go now literally go out of their way to be as rude as possible to me. So I'm just like, 
I, I, I choose not to let it get to me if I can help it, you know. Because that just shows you that the people who go out of their way to fuck with me are twice as miserable as I am. Well, that's kind of like the universe being like, dude, calm down. It's going to be okay. I'm not a bitch about it off camera and said my piece and be like, well, this is why I'm mad. And even if realistically, even if my YouTube live hadn't work, started working again, I would have been like, it, it is what it is. I'll just record the second half of the live stream off YouTube live. But I'm like, that's not nearly as entertaining, YouTube. People love watching me go live. So it's like... Not trying to be a dick to like Ozzy or John Lennon or all the hippies from the 60s and 70s, but there is no such thing as free love because love comes at a price. You might call me a smart ass for saying that, but it's the truth. People put up with a lot of fucking shit just to get some companionship. So there's no such thing as free love. Love ain't free, dude. Because you got to fucking... Even if you're not, like, fucking somebody, you still got to give your time and energy to put that energy out there. So you're still spending your own personal life to put it out there into the world. As a goth hippie, I'm like, fuck the free love bullshit and fuck being an overly sensitive pussy and fuck being an insufferable asshole. You got to find a balance, YouTube. You can't let people fuck you over. At the same time, you can't be a miserable cunt about it because the world likes to fucking crap on you and then complain because everyone else is mean to them. It's just hypocritical at, at its finest, you know. This whole free love, man, I'm like, there's no such thing as free love. I'm not trying to crap on the uh, hippies and the free thinkers here, but like, there's no such thing as free love. Love comes at a price. You love your country and you want to fight for it, so you sacrifice your life to fight for that country. Maybe one of your loved ones has severe drug and alcohol problems, and the love you have for them keeps you going, so you sacrifice your time and energy to hope that they get better. And the thing about addicts is you cannot force people to quit doing drugs and alcohol. They have to make that decision for themselves. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's there ain't a, okay, drugs and alcohol are not the problem. The problem is people in our society. Our society makes it cool to do drugs and alcohol and glamorizes cigarettes and all this other shit. But the second you do it, it's like, oh, how dare you? Because there are plenty of people who do crack and marijuana and what have you, and they don't let it dictate their life. On occasion, they'll do it just to get off and have a good time. They don't steal for their habits. They don't murder or lie or whatever. But they get overshadowed by the assholes who are just like, you know, the stereotypes of crack or cocaine users.
no one of my fucking fucking hate sickos, but no one of my fans stopped by and gave me a bottle. They were like, can we get a photo with you, Cobra? And I'm like, that's fine. At least you called and asked first. You didn't just show up and knock on my door. So, you know, controversial opinion. Drugs and alcohol are not the problem. People are the problem. <laughs> It's just really convenient when, like, we have all these fucking mass shootings and people who have a problem with sex, drugs, and alcohol and all this other shit. It's convenient to blame the guns and blame the sex and blame the drugs and blame the alcohol. And it's like you're, you're completely taking away people's ability to take personal responsibility. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's negative reinforcement. Whenever people have a problem with drugs or alcohol, it's always, you have a problem and you're powerless to do anything about it. And I'm like, if I offered a uh, sobriety clinic, if I had my own fucking 12-step program, I would do it differently. I'd be like, you don't have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to kick your addiction. It's just a personal choice. That's what that's the problem with our society. It's so controlled by dogmatic whatever is popular. You know, so and, and, and that's the thing of it. Like you don't need Christianity to kick your addiction. It's just a personal choice. Now the lead singer of fucking Smash Mouth passed away. Due to liver failure, because that man could drink. And it made me like subconscious. You know, I love to drink as much as the next guy. And you see me go ham on my YouTube. But it's like when the lead singer of Smash Mouth dies at 56 because he drinks too much. Between that and the way I acted last Christmas, that was kind of my wake-up call to be like, you know what, you don't got to stop drinking. But if you do drink and you're depressed around the holidays, don't take it out on the people who care about you. And don't drink more to compensate for it, because that just, yeah. Someone sent me a uh, jalapeno bacon cheeseburger. Appreciate that. Not sure who the restaurant is, but I ate like half of it and I'll eat the other half later. It came with like this delicious cheese sauce. I don't know who the fuck it's from, to be honest. Occasionally my fans will send me grub. And it's like if someone sends you a free bacon cheeseburger and it's legit, it contains all the meats. And of course I'm going to eat it. I'm like, dude, you want to, why I don't buy groceries half the time. And fuck sickos. Mm. <sighs> But hope you're all having a fucking fantastic Saturday. Raping and killing sickos and YouTube trolls. I'm more psychotic than my YouTube trolls are. The only difference is, is I got good morals. And I choose to channel my psychopathic side into healthy outlets. Even if my drinking's probably not the healthiest, I'll admit that. But I choose to channel it into like YouTube videos and just making music and making magic wands. If I'm having a bad fucking day, I'll carve out a wand because for me, carving the wands is therapeutic. And I like watching them go from start to finish. 
I'll acknowledge that I'm a complete fucking psychopath, but you know what? That's all right. I channel, I channel it into healthy things. If I feel pissed off at the world, I would much rather go on YouTube and be like, this is why I'm angry. And then a lot of people are going, Cobra, I feel that. I agree with you. And then once I've had the chance to like openly express it, I feel better about myself. This is why I've never opted out for therapy. It's because in a way, YouTube is like my therapy session. Although it's a bit more dangerous because there's a lot of things you shouldn't just spew out on YouTube. People are going to take what, what the fuck I say and twist it into their own fucking narrative. And it's like, dude, fuck you. You don't know me. You know, you don't know what I've been through. I don't know what the fuck you've been through. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. Like, you don't like Cobra's videos, then don't watch. That's what I'm saying, dude. You know, the fans who showed up earlier was this dude and his girlfriend. Shit you not, his girlfriend's name was Alyssa. And I was like, oh, that's deliciously ironic. She who must not be named. <laughs> I fucking hate sickos. I'd rather fuck Alicia Rohde. That's a pipe dream, but you know, hey. I'm just saying, dude. Like, you want to call me a sicko? I got two words for that. Alicia Rohde. I'm girl crazy and I got good taste in women. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. By good taste, I mean, I tend to go after the harder the chick, the harder I'm going to notice. And that's what kills me about it is if chicks are in the hot dudes, no one calls them a slut for it. But if a dude's in the hot chicks, he, he gets called a fucking pig. Fuck that shit. Who the fuck is it? Jesus fucking Christ. Hold on one second. I can't go live without being bugged. One second. Can I help you? Yeah, if it's paper, I'll just leave it here, please. No, you don't gotta hand it to me. I'm streaming. You can read the sign, can't you? Like, you can read the sign if it's paid for. Don't tell me you can't read the fucking sign. Then you couldn't read the fucking directions of your fucking goddamn fucking instructions. Ah, hello, this is DoorDash. I'm supposed to hand it to you face to face. You don't got to hand it to me face to face just to get a reaction on YouTube. My fucking, like, okay, it's the combination of my fans will send me some nice things, which is appreciated. And then I get these fucking YouTube trolls. I'm like telling telling the door to Asher's all this fucked up shit. And it's like, fuck you, dude. You can read the sign, can't you? Don't tell me you can't read the fucking sign. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to read the address to, to drop it off. How stupid do you think I am? If it's paid for, leave it at the door.
this fucking chick who's dropping off DoorDash says she can't read the sign. I'm like, bullshit. If you can't read the fucking sign, then how the fuck are you able to read your cell phone? How the fuck are you able to read your cell phone when you're getting a notification that says another order for DoorDash has been placed? If you'd like to receive this order, and then it's like, oh, Cobra had to take for fucking centuries to fucking reload his live stream. So let's fucking. It's like you don't gotta knock on the fucking door like you're a goddamn cop. Like if, if sincerely, don't give me that bullshit. It's probably something fucking stupid that my YouTube troll sent, and they're probably sending messages to DoorDash saying, "Ignore Cobra's bullshit and fucking fuck with them, please, so we can get entertainment on camera." And it's like I'm not having it. This is DoorDash. Is this DoorDash? Is this DoorDash? It's like, bitch, if I ordered DoorDash, you'd know about it. I can't read your sign. Bullshit. Well, do you not know how to speak English? I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick or a racist, but it's like, if you can read your cell phone and your cell phone says, pick up food from this whatever, then don't give me that crap. You try this hard to fuck with Cobra because you can't get me kicked out of my apartment. You can't get me to lose my YouTube channel. It is what it is. And you're jealous of my fans sending me legit things. So it's like, oh, hey, hey you know what really, you know, you know, be really funny? Is it paid for? Cool. Then leave it at my door. I did not order it. I wasn't trying to be rude to the DoorDash driver, but it's like, bullshit you can't read. If you can't fucking read my sign, then why the fuck are you a DoorDash driver? Then how come you're able to fucking read my address on your phone when the DoorDash delivery is scheduled? It's stupid. You know, they think, oh, if we send Cobra some dumb shit through DoorDash, they'll freak out about it on camera and we'll have our entertainment for the evening. And then bite-sized Cobra videos will be like, DoorDash Freakout featuring Cobra, blah, blah. It's retarded ass shit. I don't gotta go this hard to fuck with my YouTube trolls to get inside their head, dude. I'm already there. I was very direct and I wasn't like aggressive with it. I told her if it's paid for, just leave it at my door and I'll get it later. Hey, this is DoorDash. <laughs> If you can't fucking read, why the fuck are you working for DoorDash? Because I'm pretty sure reading is a part of DoorDash's requirements. You have to be able to read your cell phone and read text messages. You have to be able to fucking type and be like, well, the store is out of it. Like if it's a legit fan sending me food, I appreciate it. But you don't got to fucking make that big of a deal about it, you know? It's it's irritating. It's like it's little petty shit like that, dude. Is it paid for? It is. Well, then just leave it at my door. Oh, I can't read the sign. I know what the fucking trolls did. They probably sent me a fucking bullshit food order and then told the door dasher to pretend like she can't read the sign and to ignore it just so they can get a reaction on YouTube and watch me freak out about it. It's like, well, I didn't freak out about it, so your obsession with Cobra is really unhealthy. My trolls are more obsessed with me than I am with Ozzy Osbourne, and it's not healthy. Like, oh, Cobra's fan. Cobra's fans. 
send him free fucking food, and we can't stand that. Nobody sends us free food. I'm like, can you read the sign on my door? Oh, no, I can't read the sign. Bullshit, you can't read the sign. And how the fuck are you able to read my address when you get a DoorDash delivery, dude? I'm like, you do realize that I'm a VIP customer for DoorDash because I've wasted a lot of money going through them for convenience purposes? That now your boy Cobra is a VIP DoorDash customer. And when you become a VIP member from ordering DoorDash all the time, they tend to take and monitor you as a person, as a valued customer. You know what kills me about my fucking YouTube trolls? They try the same pranks over and over and over again. It, they might get lucky and it might work one time. But then they got to keep doing it like it's supposed to be funny. And I'm like, the only one laughing at it are my YouTube trolls. Everyone else just thinks you're lame. I'm supposed to hand it to you face to face. I'm like, can you read the fucking sign? I'm streaming right now. And that's not her fault. You know, I will extend an olive branch at DoorDash, the corporation. She's just doing her job and what she's being instructed to do. It's not her fault. My trolls are fucking miserable. I'm supposed to hand it to you face to face. I'm like, you don't got to hand, hand me shit. If it's paid for, leave it at my door. I'll pick it up after my fucking stream. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm supposed to hand it to you face to face. Kiss my ass. Fucking stupid YouTube. I'm supposed to hand it to you face to face. Oh my God. Let's see what the fucking asshole sent me. Is it actual food or is it just bullshit? There are some days I get sick and tired of people's obsession with me. I ain't gonna stunt. Uh, my name is not Ben. Frisky's Classic Salmon Dinner Cat Food. Ha! That is hilarious. So one of my YouTube trolls sent me a bunch of free cat food. Oh, that is hilarious. Like, this is supposed to troll Cobra. I knew it was a troll donation by the way the fucking DoorDasher was acting. I'm like, you know why my YouTube trolls send me cat food? Because they're fucking pussies. That's hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. Y'all sent me free cat food? So this asshole named Ben is the customer's name, I guess. The order is order number 548A2F30. That's hilarious. Like, haha, we sent Cobra cat food. You sent me gummy worms and cat food. What the fuck is this? 
I don't have a cat, dude. I have a bearded dragon. Frisky's potatoes, salmon dinner, cat food. It's like, well, I can eat uh, gummy worms. We got the Sour Bright Crawlers from Trolley. These are pretty tasty. I'm like, this was so important. Oh, congratulations. You got a reaction from Cobra, but it's not the reaction you wanted. You expected Cobra to freak out and get mad? Can you believe my fucking YouTube troll sent me some goddamn cat food? What the hell is this? The hell is this, YouTube? Like, oh, we got you, Cobra. We wasted our money to fucking troll you. Ha, 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 ha. I don't gotta fucking waste my money to get back at my trolls. All I gotta do is go live and they're pissed off. It's hilarious. Even if my YouTube trolls were to go live and start talking all this mad shit about King Cobra, why the fuck would I send them DoorDash just to fuck with them? It's hilarious. That smells like canned fish, dog. I ain't gonna stunt. What flavor of Friskies is this? This is the salmon flavor. In fact, just to stick it to my YouTube trolls, instead of getting mad about my trolls sending me cat food through DoorDash because they think they're so clever, I'm gonna turn it around on them and I'm gonna eat this on camera just to stick it to my YouTube trolls. But, like, this is going to provide interesting content for my fans. I swear to God, oh, don't you do it, Cobra. You want to see Cobra eat cat food on camera? This is ridiculous. Yeah. I tried one bite for y'all. Oh. Yo, this cat food is more disgusting than a piece of poop. My YouTube troll's obsession with me is more disgusting than this cat food, and that's really saying something. Like, ha-ha, we sent Cobra some cat food. Fuck him. And how is that trolling? You know, you're going to waste, you're going to go out of your hard-earned money to send Cobra cat food because you're jealous I get actual human food. From my fans. I mean, I eat canned fish like sardines and shit. So this is not too out of the realm of, you know, like I'll eat a, a can of canned tuna like it's nothing. But that's for humans. Actual fucking cat food, cat food. Like, what am I doing for a Saturday? I want to watch Cobra eat cat food because this is this is the highlight of my life. Watching Cobra drink peppermint schnapps and eating cat food on YouTube Live.
Well, what were the fucking trolls expecting? What was what was gonna happen? Was Cobra gonna freak out because they sent me cat food? Were they gonna be like, "Oh my god, Frisky's cat food"? Meow 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 meow. The taste. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Ah, I like the fishy taste. I like fish in general. But Cobra didn't get mad at the bullshit DoorDash order. He just told the, the Dasher to politely fuck off. And then it's like, okay, well, what the fuck did I get? So not only did you not get the satisfaction of having it handed to me face to face, but now I'm owning it by just being like, oh, you guys are hilarious. Sending me cat food through DoorDash. Oh, geez. That just shows you my trolls are pussies. Yeah, if it smells like trout, get the fuck out. If it smells like salmon, keep on a slamming. Am I right, YouTube? Consider this. I want to say to my trolls, thank you for sending me cat food. So that I can entertain my fans on YouTube Live. But I don't need to eat cat food to entertain my fans on YouTube Live. I just do my thing and it pisses you off. Otherwise, you wouldn't try this hard to fuck with me. It's like, yeah, I want to spend my hard-earned money to fuck with Cobra. Take that, you autistic asshole. Here's some cat food. The initial taste of it, ugh, it's weird. I like the fishiness of it. Is this even safe for human consumption? Imagine how pissed off my trolls are watching my stupid live stream from the subreddit like, oh my god, who fucking sent Cobra cat food? That is hilarious. Oh my god, he's eating it on camera. What the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it is the internet. You've seen me eat bacon time strips. My trolls are pussies for doing this. That's why they got to send me cat food. Realistically, it's like, okay, I hate my YouTube trolls. And if they were going live and talking shit on Cobra, I wouldn't spend my hard-earned money to fuck with them. Because I don't got to. At this point, I've already won, dude. I've already won. You might sit there and be like, oh, 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 my God, we sent Cobra some cat food on the Internet. Ha ha, fuck him. And it's like, how dare you eat cat food on camera, you piece of shit. That first initial taste of it, it's like, ugh. But then you get past the initial taste of it, and it's it's not half bad. Oh, dude, that aftertaste is seriously funky, dude. That's how you stick it to the trolls. They're like, we tried to trick Cobra into shouting out sickos. That briefly worked, but then once Cobra was wise to the game, 
and we all know he hates sickos, he quit doing it. So it's like, oh, great. Now we got to try harder to fuck with him. What can we do next? Okay, guys, we're going to sit here in this goddamn Discord and talk about how much we hate Cobra and how can we fuck with him next. Well, the sicko thing didn't really work. We had our fun with that for a brief minute. But now it's no longer fun because Cobra is aware of the game. Well, shit. I know. Let's waste our fucking hard-earned money to send Cobra cat food. Maybe he'll freak out about it. And it's like, you know how many fucking feral cats I see running around my apartment complex? It's not mine specifically, but it's where I live. So if I wanted to, next time I saw one of the black cats running around here, I could have been like, you want the food? But I'm like, eh, giving it to a stray cat is something I would do. But it's not nearly as entertaining and owning the trolls as being like, If you like watching me own the trolls and try cat food, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. <laughs> like, I'm going to waste my money to DoorDash Cobra bullshit, and he just fucking takes it like a champ and owns it. Man, it's got to suck being as miserable as my YouTube trolls. Oh, and then when I sat there and said... Can you read the sign? Is it paid for? Oh, I can't read. Bullshit. If you can't read, how come you're able to fucking figure out which address I'm at when you get an order for DoorDash? Can't believe I'm eating cat food on fucking internet, dude. What, is, what does my career come to, YouTube? Ah, Frisky's salmon flavor. One of my YouTube trolls door dashed me a can of cat food and some gummy worms because they think, oh, this is fucking hilarious. We're going to watch Cobra freak out on camera. And instead of freaking out on camera and losing my temper, I'm like, you know, it'd be really fucking funny. Open up the can of cat food and just start eating it on camera. Really stick it to my YouTube trolls. Be like, dude, I fuck with the Ouija boards and haunted cemeteries. You sending me cat food ain't shit. Ugh. I don't want to eat the entire can. I shouldn't have to to prove my point. But I might just eat the entire can just to stick it to my trolls. Like you get past the uh, the initial taste of it if you like fish. I've had worse food, to be honest. Durian. Uh, okay, it's just strawming fish. No, I tell you what, if it came to eating a can of Stroming or a can of this, uh, I'd really eat a can of this, dude. It's just Stroming fish is that nasty. <laughs> oh, God, now my fucking breath's going to smell like cat food. Meow. Yeah. Even at 70,000 subscribers and people are so fucking jealous of Cobra, it's like, you know what be really funny? If we DoorDash Cobra some cat food, watch him freak out about it on camera. He just laughs at it and eats it and then does one of these numbers. Oh, man. 
Gemara. Like now I'm committed to the bit, YouTube. Although next time I get free cat food in the mail through DoorDash, I'll just save it for the feral cats that I see running around outside. There are plenty of stray cats running around outside. Or I'll just stick it in the laundry room so if my neighbors have any cats and they're low on cat food, there you go. And I'm like, you want to control your trolls like King Cobra does? You can't control what they do. All you can do is control how you react to it. And if you react to it by freaking out, getting mad on camera, and being like, well, fuck this shit, they're going to keep doing it. But when you sit there and casually eat it on camera and laugh at it, they're going, man, all, co all we did was give Cobra easy content shock value for his fans. What are we doing with our lives? Because my trolls are pussies. That's why they sent me cat food. Oh, this is so gross. I can't believe I'm eating a whole can of cat food on camera. The initial taste of it, it definitely tastes like pet food. But when you get past, like, the initial, okay, you're eating cat food, and it tastes like pet food, and if you actually like fish, it's not half bad. I've certainly tried worse. Well, I know for a fact that like, certain cats love fish. Cats in general love fish and like moist food like this. I would feed this to my cat if I had one. A puff is enough pet for me, thank you. Uh, I have been watching a couple of cat videos on YouTube. There's these one cats that I think are kind of cool. I forget what they're called, but they got these like skinny pointed ears that kind of come out like that, you know. Pumbas or whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah. I'm more of a dog person, but I tolerate cats. Cats are cool to a point. I like animals in general. Uh, oh, this is so gross. It's like, well, now he's committed to the bit. Son of a bitch. Oh, so now they're gonna, now they're gonna keep doing it because my trolls are fucking stupid. You can read the sign. I'm not answering it.
But yeah, if you want a shout out on the old King Cobra JFS channel, consider donating to Cash App or PayPal. You don't have to, but it's greatly appreciated. And I will give you a shout out. If they really were doing it because they cared about me, they do it off camera. But they're doing it when I go live so they can see the reaction live. Hoping I'll freak out on camera. And it's just truly more disgusting than eating cat food, to be honest. I cannot believe I just ate an entire can of cat food for your sick entertainment. It's like, well, he's got 70,000 subscribers. Dude. You know what the trolls get to you? You just laugh at it and go, oh, hey, guys, thanks for the food, you know. And, oh, my God, amazing, you know. That's how you deal with the YouTube trolls. You don't let them get to you. You just shove it right back in their face. Here's the best part of it, YouTube. If my YouTube trolls went live, do you think I would waste my money to send my YouTube trolls cat food and cucumbers and tampons and stupid shit like that? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. My trolls have done this crap before. They've sent me diapers. They've sent me cat food, you know, whatever, just stupid random shit. And then I take it and I give it to my neighbors. That's the best part of it. So it's like, oh, hey, are you low on feminine products? Well, my YouTube trolls are douchebags, and they sent me a couple of pads. So if you, uh, they're not used. So if you, uh, if you uh, need them, you can have them. Oh, that is a funky taste. Ugh. Washing down cat food with like some goddamn fucking peppermint schnapps. Woo, that's a rough combination. Let me put my hair up on a ponytail one second. Personally speaking, I would not recommend eating cat food. That was truly disgusting. And that's going to be on the internet forever now. People are going to be like, watching Cobra eat cat food be like... What am I doing with my life? Like, Cobra wants some of-age pussy, so you know, it'd be really fucking funny. They're probably thinking that we can make a dry spell joke out of it, too, on top of it.
But yeah, fuck sickos and fuck my YouTube trolls. Oh my goodness, watching a puppy get pissed off at their own hiccups. I gotta share this with chats. Okay, you gotta watch that YouTube shorts. Look at it. It's a puppy getting upset over their hiccups. It's too fucking cute, you two. Stop it. Not as handsome or as cute as my puffers, but. Man, that cat food left a really funky aftertaste in my mouth. I cannot believe I just sat there and ate an entire can. And it's like, man, the trolls are such douchebags. You know, it'd be really funny. You take the can of cat food they sent you, don't get mad at it, and just eat the whole thing on camera. And be like, fuck you losers, dude. I own your sad life. Otherwise, you wouldn't send me cat food. Y'all are pussies, too. That's why you're sending me cat food. You're a bunch of keyboard pussy-ass motherfuckers. And I don't gotta send my trolls cat food or bullshit DoorDash orders to fuck with them to get inside their goddamn head, man. I'm already fucking there. <laughs> God damn, almost 200 likes. There we are. That'll stick it to the trolls. There's the pie eye hat. Ah, oh, dude, cat food is so gross. The aftertaste in my mouth right now is not pleasant. Having cat food sent to me out of spite and just for a you know, just for a laugh. That's like, that's pretty tame for my YouTube trolls. They're starting to realize they've tried everything in the books to fuck with me. And it hasn't worked. What are you doing with your life? That's what I want to ask my YouTube trolls. Oh, I sent some autistic, some cat food. I swear to God. Maybe he'll freak out about it. Oh, God damn it. He didn't freak out about it on camera. He ate it. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, God damn it. Oh, ah, oh. oh. Cobra, you sick bastard. Why would you eat cat food on camera? It's not something I would normally do, but the thought of how much it would piss off my YouTube trolls knowing that it didn't piss me off. If anything, I used it as gross out shock value content for my YouTube fam. And people are like, he actually ate the entire can. Oh, that is so gross. That is so fucking gross. I'm like, if I let the trolls get to me, I would have been freaking out about it by now, dude. But I'm like, nah, what's the point of freaking out about it? You want to piss off your YouTube trolls? Take the piss out of yourself and eat the cat food on camera, knowing that the internet's going to be like, we will save this moment. 
You cannot hide from us, Cobra. We watched you eat cat food on camera. We're going to save it and use it to ridicule you. Ha ha ha, take that. And I'm like, the ball is in my court, friends. I have 70,000 plus subscribers. And when you have that amount of fame on YouTube, people get jealous and they try to fuck with you. So you fuck with them back twice as hard by being like, is this the best you got? Sending me a can of cat food? That's adorable. I've been bullied my entire life. So you're going to have to try a little bit harder than that to fuck with me, dude. I'm about to go outside for a fucking bowl of pop tobacco to smoke the taste of that fucking cat food out of my mouth, dude. Ugh. Okay, that cat food was not the worst thing I've had, but it wasn't the best. Sustroming fish tasted a lot worse. Smelled a lot worse, too. I know why the trolls sent me friskies, because they want to fuck Cobra's cock so bad it's not even funny, and they're frisky for it, and they're huge pussies, and they want to give me pussy because they are pussies. Honestly, I want to say to my YouTube trolls, thank you for ending my six-year dry spell, because you got fucked by the Cobra. I'm sure the trolls are having a laugh at it, too. Like, holy crap. But meanwhile, people are like, this is why we subscribe to Cobra's channel. Oh, that looks so gnarly, dude. I appreciate y'all tuning in to watch me slay trolls. They try fucking with me in the comment section of the live video here. Their comment gets deleted, and if they get persistent with it, they get blocked. At some point, they go, well, you know what? This isn't working, so we have to try harder. And the whole time, I'm sitting here laughing about it like, I don't got to do shit. I don't got to do shit to piss off my YouTube trolls. I don't got to try to go out of my way. Be like, oh, great. Bite Size Cobra is live. I better send him some fucking dildos. Because he can go fuck himself. I don't have to. I'm like, y'all going to try this hard to fuck with me? At the end of the day, you're glorifying me. And right then and there, you just gave me some live content. To entertain my fans. I get to piss off my trolls and entertain my fans. That's like killing two birds with one stone. So for future references, would I recommend eating cat food? Uh, no. That was kind of gross. The fish taste was pretty accurate. To a point. For it being cat food. However, no, cat food is disgusting. But it gave the fans a laugh. They were like, holy crap. I'm like, you know what? It would have been sweet to give that cat food to one of my neighbors who might have a cat who might need it. Or maybe like one of the stray cats outside who might need it. But I'm like, I got a better idea. Instead of freaking out about it on camera, like, you fucking loser trolls better leave me alone. 
I'm like, I got a better idea. I'm going to eat the can of cat food on camera like some Ozzy Osbourne crazy rocker type shit and be like, I don't give a damn what you think about me. <clears throat> Taking a leaf out of Ozzy Osbourne's book be like, you gave me something gross to eat on camera. Oh, we're so doing this. <clears throat> Sharon! 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 Cobra ate cat food on camera. Sharon! What the fuck is wrong with you, man? I thought I was crazy, Trey, but his. Uh, at this point, I don't even give a damn if Ozzy signs me because his health is fucking more important to me than him signing my ass. I want to see that man get back up on fucking stage and continue to make music. I got a sweet deal with deathbed tapes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but... And then there are like 10,000 people out there who probably claim to be, you know, an, all these Aussie impersonators. Like, little Aussie's the shit. He's a little person who impersonates Aussie. I'm not going to say the M word because you know what's up. I, uh, I, I try to respect political correctness. You see, a, a, the little the little Ozzy, he's a little person who impersonates Ozzy, and it's adorable as shit. I love it, dude. Ozzy World's Jack. Black, fuck. Ozzy and Jack's World Tour. Have you met little Ozzy? Uh, no, I haven't. I cannot believe I just ate cat food on the internet. Knowing that's going to fucking be on the internet until I die. People are going to be giving me shit about that to the day I die. And that's the internet for you. And I'm like, yeah, well, it speaks higher volume when someone can be like, okay, yeah, I'm getting trolled here. People are sending me dumb shit through DoorDash. So I, I own it and then turn it into content for my fans. I'm sure the trolls are going to be losing their shit on the subreddit right now. God damn it, Cobra's live. I can't stand him. Better not. So thank you to the internet for deciding to pull the head out of its ass and cooperate. So you're like, great, I finally got the internet working again for a live stream just to have a bunch of assholes be like, I want to waste my own money to troll Cobra knowing that Cobra doesn't have to waste a dime of his own hard-earned money to fuck with me back. He just takes the troll and runs with it. Oh, I hate Cobra so much. Like, are you the dude that ate cat food on a YouTube live stream while drinking peppermint schnapps? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Dude, your videos are fucking legend. Yeah. The YouTube trolls called me an e-bagger, so I got some begging time strips for some friend for a friend's dog that I know of. Dobby is just the sweetest dog. Her nickname is Snookums. That's what I call her. I call her Dobby Do Snookums. And she's just the sweetest dog. And she'll lick the fuck out of my ear because it is what it is. You know, and she's great for the people that she's with. You know. But that... That's beside the point.
I mean, dogs have been known to eat cat food, and you're wearing a dog collar, so it's like. <sighs> if I get any uh, donations from the last two uh, streams, I'll do the shout outs. Uh, tomorrow before I go live again because right now when I'm going live I don't want it to be about the donations I want it to be about uh, oh excuse me entertaining my fans oh oh dude I burped in the aftermath of that cat food gross I turned the comments back on on my YouTube videos, and that pissed off my YouTube trolls. And I did that on purpose because it's it's all about manipulating the system. You turn off comments for several fucking months, and the trolls will sit there and think, oh, we got to him. And then randomly out of nowhere, you just turn the comments back on. And they don't know what to do except talk more shit. And it's like, now you got the trolls playing into your pockets. People are like, I'm sick and tired of watching Cobra get bullied on the internet. The dude has Asperger's. He doesn't go out of his way to fucking hurt people. He just does his thing. And it pisses people off. To the point where they're like, take that, Cobra. Here's a free can of cat food. And I'm like, you know, it'd be really fucking funny if you take this DoorDash troll, this troll DoorDash order, and just fucking own it, dude. And it was kind of on the spot, but I'm like, it's the internet. People will find it entertaining regardless. Cracks it open, proceeds to eat the entire can. I got like one bite in, I'm like, oh, this is so gross. And then I ate another bite. And after, like, bite number four, I'm like, you know what? I'm committed to the bit at this point. Fuck it. I guess we're eating cat food on the internet. Winston. Winston, what are you doing? Bite, then you lick me. Ah! Ooh, runs away. Nobody but a select small group of people are going to get that reference. Winston, what are you doing? Winston, what are you doing? Winston. I wasn't referring to the ghost in my old apartment, no. It's an obscure reference that I will not go into detail in because it's none of your damn business. You want to have the alpha male confidence? Take a leaf out of my book. Even though I've been rejected by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade, I still try. You know? I still, I'm not afraid to be myself. I'm like, if you want to reject me because you're creeped out by me, but, you know, that's a total double standard. If you tried saying you were creeped out by a chick, they'd call you a faggot and they'd tell you you can't handle a strong woman. But well, like when it's gender reversed, you know, because of the whole the way the stereotypes that men have to face, kiss my ass. Nothing quite like sticking it to your ex-high school crushes and women who reject you and go, well, that's your loss. I'm more focused on getting more subscribers than I am getting pussy because the end result pays off. You want the hottest chick on the planet? You got a couple million subscribers and it's like, they don't care if your teeth are rotten. 
or if you're going bald, or if you're retarded, or if your trolls are assholes, or if you come off as like super creepy. Like an Ozzy Osbourne impersonator with a resting creep face. Hello, Clarice. It puts the lotion on its skin, otherwise it gets the hose again. In my case, it's kind of true. It's like I use the shower, and my shower has got like a a shower head like like where you could take the shower head off and kind of eh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And the lotion I have is my Bond Number no. One Tactical Soap Body Butter Lotion. It leaves you smelling like it has pheromones in it, just like the soap does, and it leaves your skin feeling soft. So, like you know. Check out coupon code King Cobra. I don't got to get laid to appreciate what tactical soap does for me socially. Women don't even notice my flaws when they smell the tactical soap. They're like, ooh, that dude smells good. And that's what I'm saying, you two. You don't got to get laid to smell good for the ladies. But tactical soap will increase your chances of getting laid. Because it has pheromones in it that are designed to attract the females, the females, the of age females. And it works because practically every time I wear the soap, it's like, oh, God damn it, Josh is wearing his soap again. I've seen chicks that were way the fuck out of my league going, that dude smells good. And I'm like, yeah. You got a chick who's way the fuck out of your league, who's stupid hot going, you smell good. I don't even care if she fucks me. You know, you got, you, you, you're getting compliments from women that are way the fuck out of your league. I'm telling you, dude, tactical soaps the business. And using coupon code King Cobra plus the affiliates. If you think me eating cat food on YouTube is crazy, you ought to check out Tactical Soap because that stuff is insane. Insanely good smelling. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of cat food, you want some pussy? <laughs> yeah. Not unintentionally ignoring chats. I'm just kind of more focused on doing the video and hanging out with y'all. There's my natural hair color, the auburn brown hair with the blonde highlights. That's my natural hair color. I love it. To a point, I wish my hair was naturally black, but it is what it is. But you're looking at this ponytail of mine, and you can see that it's 
dark brown, light brown with black and blonde and highlights. That's my natural hair color. I know a lot of women and men who pay big bucks to have natural, to have highlights in their hair. And this is my natural hair color, dude. Look at it. Beautiful. <laughs> So oh, cool, I was able to go live for an hour plus without the chat freezing up. That's a wonderful feeling. I still can't believe I ate an entire can of cat food on YouTube. That is okay. Can you you can you give it a like and subscribe for that crazy shit? Cause ninety-seven dollars. Oh, that'll help with the uh Getting my account out of the negative. Holy shit balls. I'll be doing some shout outs tomorrow. Wow. That is holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> that's uh that's what's up. Holy shit. That's a lot of donations. See what's in uh, the old cash app. Hey, five dollars and twenty cents. That's pretty sweet too, man. See, the whole time I didn't ask for a donation, and people just give it to me because they like my content. So once again, I proved that I'm not an e-bagger, and yet somehow, you know, they're going to find a way to try to twist this. Fuck the trolls. They're miserable, dude. That'll definitely help towards getting my account out of the negative. Dude, I cannot read with these glasses on. The novelty glasses are sweet, but let's get the prescriptions on. $392.68. In G negative. That is quite all right. Satellite. We'll figure out a way to get her out of there. The whole time I didn't ask for a fucking single penny. I sat here and hang out and drink peppermint schnapps and hang out with my fans on stream. You know, I'm like, it's not about the money. It's about the fans. And once again... Like, do my trolls get $97 just because they're famous on YouTube? No, they don't. But they'll sit there and watch my videos and then complain because they're so sick and tired of Cobra and all this stupid bullshit. And it's like, dude, no one's forcing you to watch my videos.
that's the ticket. <laughs> what you know about that vape life, bro? <coughs> oh, fuck me. I don't mind vaping, but I prefer conventional tobacco, to be honest. It just tastes better, in my opinion. I'm very fond of pipe tobacco. I love the way it smells and tastes. Although sometimes you don't got time to smoke a pipe, so, you, you know, cigarettes are more convenient. I mainly smoke cigarettes and pipe tobacco. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, shit. I do apologize for yawning. It's holy butt fuck. How is it already midnight? I guess time flies when you're hanging out with the fans. <clears throat> Keep the stream going for a little bit longer because I feel like it's and you know the the sign I put on the front of my door triggers my trolls, otherwise they wouldn't have to go the extra mile to be like. Any special instructions for the DoorDash order? Yes, please ignore the sign on the fucking asshole's door and knock as loud as you can. Like, oh my God, Cobra ate cat food on the YouTube. That's so gross. 
Why? Oh man, them peppermint schnapps, that'll wet your whistle. Not gonna be as strong as my mead. But I don't care. That mead is fermenting. Otherwise the balloon wouldn't inflate. The Tampico has preservatives in it. That's why I added extra sugar for the yeast to ferment on. Last time I made homemade wine, this is exactly what the homemade wine did. It would ferment and make the, the fermentation. And then as soon as the fermentation stopped, When you mix sugar with yeast, the yeast will eat the sugar and convert it into alcohol. It's basic wine making 101. So based off of that, you could probably make wine out of damn near anything. And sure, like there might be some wine drinkers who will scoff at you for trying to make a... Uh, a mead out of Tampico mango punch because of all the preservatives. But if I don't get me drunk, then I know that's not what you do. And then next time I'll try something different. I enjoy making it and fermenting it and watching my little project. I want to laugh when that alcohol ferments and I make some of the best goddamn fucking mango mead people are excited to see how it turns out and i am too to be honest But if you give me $400, Cash App or PayPal, I will shave my mustache. Which I don't want to because I love my Sam Elliott st status mustache. 
I'm a Wild West fan. That's why I grew out the mustache. Tombstone's one of my favorite movies. Val Kilmore, Kurt Russell, Sam Elliott. Such a good movie, dude. The carrying guns, why? Christ, you're going to risk that over a misdemeanor. You goddamn right I'll risk it. They're breaking the law. One second. Shh. <clears throat> yeah, I still have my prop pistol from my Halloween costume for last year. And it fell out of the holster, but... <laughs> yeah. Get you some, motherfucker. <laughs> now, this is not a real... This is not a real pistol. I bought it for my Halloween costume, but it's realistic enough that it mimics a Colt Peacemaker. You know, you got the little plunger where you can pop the cartridges cartridges out. It's right, right there. Yeah, it's not the. Uh, you know, it's not the uh, fanciest of cap guns, but it gets the job done. Like, if you want, like, a Wild West, you know, because I'm a fan of Tombstone, the movie, you know, the, the nostalgia. And you can see from this angle, okay, that there are no, it's empty. And even if it wasn't, the bullets aren't real. They, they take these little dummy caps. It's like one step below a blank gun, basically. Which I wanted to order a, a blank gun for my costume, but they were out of stock. So I took what I could get for my costume, and eh, it satisfies the uh, the urge. Yeah, these uh these cap guns are made in Spain. You can spin the cylinder. You can double you know, you can double action right there or single action, I mean. 
Because double act, if it was double action, you'd be able to squeeze the trigger and the hammer would pull back at the same time. But like, yeah, it, it, it mimics the uh, the single action of a cult peacemaker very nicely. That's pretty realistic looking, dude. So if you're going to have a, like a cap gun for your costume or for like Halloween or whatever, just be careful. Like, that's a cute little toy gun you got there, Cobra. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I've seen some like Val Kilmore prop replicas. The like you know how Val Kilmore played Doc Holliday and he had like these pearl gripped pistol kind of thing. I've seen a pair of them go for like thousands of dollars and I'm like, I don't got that kind of money to pull, you know, like you wanna play cowboy when you're watching tombs having a tombstone kind of night, so yeah. I like my pistol. This thing's cool, man. The holster I got for it's pretty freaking sweet. You put like the little cap on the back of the fake bullet, and then you stick the fake bullet into the gun, and when you pop it, it goes pop. It's not as loud as the cap guns I had when I was a kid, because. We're all my 90s, fellow 90s babies at, you know what I'm saying? In the 1990s, when you had a cap gun, and you got, like, some, like, dollar store, like, snubby little pistol, and, like, little, the, the rings of caps, and you stick the ring in the thing, and then, you know what I'm saying? They were loud as fuck. Growing up, when I had cap guns... They were so loud that my parents are like, that's an outside toy. Because of how loud it got. And I'm like, that's how you, these days you can't, you can't have a cap gun that, that's that loud because people will think it's a real, you know, and then you'll get, yeah. Which kind of sucks because the nostalgia of a good quality toy cap gun is just, you know. It hits me in my childhood. I grew up playing with Legos and toy guns. And the cap guns I had, the caps that they would put for the caps were so loud, you could hear it echo like a block and a half away. So it sounded realistic enough to a point, but in today's society you couldn't get away with having a toy gun like that people would think it was real and you could potentially hurt yourself by getting shot for it so which kind of sucks because it's like you know the, the uh, nostalgia dies back in the day when a kid could go outside and play with a cap gun and the caps were so loud it sounded like a little 22 going off and, like, nobody thought twice about it because it's like, what are the odds of a kid having a, their hands on an actual gun? You know what I'm saying? No one thought twice about it because it was the 90s. Of course, these days, if a kid walks outside with an airsoft gun, they can end up getting shot by the popo because, you know. Which, so what, what, let's have a discussion about this. Seems how I got my uh, my trusty prop pistol with me here. Cause let's let's we're not gonna mince words. Hold up. Yeah. Okay, this uh, prop pistol is pretty freaking realistic. Uh, the only thing that's plastic on this is the trigger right here, but everything else is solid metal, and or screws or wood. It's a cheap uh, prop pistol. It's not a blank gun by any sense of the word, but it gets the job done. And, you know, I like it. It's great for, like, when I'm having a tombstone kind of night and I fire up the old PS3 and put tombstone, the DVD, into the tray and close it and then I must pour myself some whiskey and. You know, 
I could watch that movie a thousand times and never get tired of it. Tombstone is one of my favorite movies. Because it has everything that makes a quality movie. Action, suspense, romance, a good story. Yeah, speaking of Tombstone, what up, Wyatt Earp? Yeah. Too bad, you know, you're, you're not the real Wyatt Earp, but I appreciate the, <laughs> the nostalgia. But yeah, this is a this is a pretty sweet little cap gun. I mean, it's not like the highest of quality, but for the money I paid, I'm not complaining. It's hefty enough. It looks realistic enough that if I have it for a costume, you know, I'm your Huckleberry. Say when, motherfucker. Yeah. The only reason I wanted to get a blank firing replica similar to this one is because the sparks would shoot out the end. It'd be more realistic for the costume effect, but they were out of stock on the one that I wanted, so they gave me this one as a suggestion. And I'm like, at that point, I was just like, You get me what I paid for? I paid for a fucking prop gun to go with my costume. So if I get one, it's cool. At that, at that, at that point, I wasn't complaining. You know, on the website I ordered them from, I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. It's the Boglum Blaster 9000. <laughs> uh... You got to be careful with realistic cap guns like this one because this looks pretty goddamn realistic. All right there's the plunger on the front, and just like a real Colt 45 or like Peacemaker, you line up the hole, and right there, that's how that's how they spit the cartridges. They load one, rotate it, load one, rotate it until the whole thing's full, and then. For each shot, bam. You know what I'm saying? For each shot, you'd load, load it, like pull the hammer back, give it a squeeze. And then once all your bullets are spent, you want to open the loading gates. And then just boop, rotate it. Boop, rotate it. Boop, you know what I'm saying? You know, so like, okay, if you got like that itch to play with the gun, but you don't want to be stupid with it, you get a fake, you get, get you, you get one that's fake. And it's great for teaching, you know, training and all that. And it functions just like a real single action six shooter fucking peacemaker, dude. So that's the nostalgia of it, I guess. But this is not a real gun for legality reasons. This is not a real fucking firearm. This is a uh, cap gun that takes these like dummy rounds that you stick the caps on the back of the cartridge and then you stick the cartridge, you know. But the, you know, it's a cheap cap gun for like for like adult novelty or for like plays or for like movies. For the money I paid for it, I am not complaining. You know what I'm saying? This is King Cobra JFS telling you to shoot your local pedophiles. Hold up a second. Oh, don't tell me it needs work. I've had this cap gun for like a couple years now, so it's going to have some wear and tear, but it doesn't even click. Oh, come on.
Don't tell me the trigger needs work. The trigger won't engage. It'll be, oh. oh, great. Well, if, even if I wanted to do the Doc Holiday costume again, I'd, I'd probably have to get this one fixed or buy a new one. That sucks. So, like, for nostalgic purposes, I'm going to keep it. But that is disappointing because now if I go to pull the hammer back, it doesn't it doesn't click back like it's supposed to. <sighs> well, that's life. That is life in a nutshell. I'll put that back. Well, now that sucks ass, Cobra fam. I might have to, like, replace that or try to find a way to get that fixed. Or order another one, you know? Order order one that, that's a bit more higher quality. So I got plenty of options for it. I'm still going to hold on to it because of the nostalgic purposes. Well, that sucks. Because when you pull it out and, like, you cock the hammer back, the hammer should stay right here until you squeeze the trigger. But now it's like this. See that? I, like, I pull it back. It doesn't stay engaged. So I'm not sure how the fuck I'd go about fixing that. Yeah, was the screw right here sticking out the side? Oh, man. The sweet little cap gun, too. It sucks that it's falling apart. It's not, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. It is what it is. Man, that sucks ass. It's heavy enough to be as realistic as possible. But the hammer doesn't want to stay engaged. There's a little gap right here where it's like... Man... It's a paperweight at this point because the hammer don't want to stay engaged. Yeah, it's falling apart. Son of a bitch. I know it's falling apart because when I go to cock the hammer back, it doesn't stay cocked back. I let go of it. It does that. Not supposed to do that. Well, it is what it is. I thought about getting the trigger replaced with an actual metal trigger and having the action done so that it actually functions better. But if that ends up costing more money than it does to just buy a new one, then I'll buy a new one and keep this for like nostalgic purposes. Like, you 
Well, I'm not going to lie. My cap gun's falling apart. That really fucking smites. So even if, I wanted, even if I wanted to do like a gothic doc holiday again this year, fucking... That sucks, YouTube. Could be worse. Oh, god damn it. Where'd the well, there it is. Knock that off the no. Got this screw coming out on the side here. That's not good. Hold up. There's a little screw coming out right there on the side. If we take it's a flathead screw too, so if we take Take a screwdriver. And then screw that screw back into the gun. I don't know how the hell that happened. See, now it's not sticking out so much. Don't ask me how that screw came out because I haven't been fucking with it. It pretty much just sits in front of my altar in the holster. Oh, that seems to have fixed that problem. Now the hammer wants to engage, but you can't squeeze the trigger to... Pull it forward. Well, that's a bitch. Okay, so we figured out that's the screw for the hammer. What do you expect for a cheap cap gun? It's what it is, YouTube. It's not a real gun and it's empty. Those of you just tuning in, I pulled out my cap gun to show it off on YouTube and uh, freaking, okay, there we go. Put that screw back into place, even if it don't fully function like it's supposed to. <clears throat> and I might not even celebrate Halloween this year, to be honest. Let's see how I'm feeling. Don't get me wrong, I love Halloween, but it's like, eh. There we go, that screw is screwed back into place. I 
okay, I kind of fixed it, but kind of not. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to retire this because I have no idea how to fix it. I see the screw poking out here, and all I can do is tighten it so that it ain't sticking it. There we go. So it ain't sticking out. Man. I pull the trigger or the hammer back and the cylinder is supposed to rotate. So yeah, my cap gun's pretty much falling apart. That's fantastic. And I don't even use it that much. So I thought that was kind of weird. Man. I like this cap gun. This thing is cool. That's just fucking sad. Well, what do you do? That's life. At least that screw ain't coming out. Yeah, it's definitely the Boglin Blaster 9000 now. Like a broken record, huh? Shit. I want to screw that goddamn screw back into place as tightly as I can. That's all I can do to repair it because my knowledge about repairing these uh, cap guns is I don't know what to do. So at least now when I pull the hammer back, it engages. But does it stay engaged? No, it don't. So I think, uh, yeah, this cheap-ass cap gun is, it's done. Eh, what do you do? Oh, God damn it. Nice catch. Man. Well, that is what it is. The Asperger's is strong in this one. Yeah, I'm incredibly autistic, so sue me. Put these up.
Beer at door? I highly doubt that. Goddamn beer in my door, y'all are stupid. Another can of cat food, that's hilarious. God, my trolls are stupid. Like, we're going to reference this King Cobra kicking our ass on screen again. It is what it is, tubes. I'm not worried about my gunslinger's cap gun breaking. I'm, I can always replace it if worse comes to worse, and I really, you know, it's not an immediate need to replace. So I bought it for nostalgic reasons, and it was on a budget for a Halloween costume, so I really can't complain. But one of my fans sent me a burger earlier, and I have no idea who they're from. This is bacon cheeseburger with jalapenos and shit. That burger tastes a lot better than that cat food, I'll tell you that right now. Not sure who the burger came from. But it came with this uh, cheesy like sauce. It kind of reminds me of uh, right here, this sauce. That tastes like the cheesy sauce that I got that one time at that one fuck. There's this little shop of burgers, cheesy sauce, because that's what it tastes like. Again, I have no idea who this burger came from. I look out on my DoorDash. Someone DoorDashed me a bacon cheeseburger with jalapenos. I'm like, okay. And it came with fries, so I was like, hey. The fact that someone door dashed me another can of the same flavor of cat food just shows you that my fucking trolls are gluttons for punishment. Like, oh, oh ha, 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 we got Cobra to eat cat food. Maybe he'll do it again. And it's like, dude, Cobra controls your life. 100%. Otherwise, you wouldn't give a damn if he goes live. You wouldn't order bullshit food you know, and stuff like that. You wouldn't be jealous if one... But check this out. You wouldn't be jealous of Cobra's bacon cheeseburger DoorDash orders if the fans actually send 
And if you weren't actually jealous of that, then you wouldn't send me cat food as a joke. Like, oh, ha, ha, we got Cobra, we pranked him. Yeah, I might not celebrate Halloween this year. We'll see how I feel. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my fucking god, I was not waving a gun around. Can you people leave me the fuck alone, please? It's fine, Jesus fucking Christ. I was not waving a fucking gun around, okay? I have a prop pistol I bought for Halloween last year and it was falling apart, so I was trying to fix it on camera. They're not my viewers, they're my fucking cocksucking YouTube trolls. I'm tired of them wasting your you blind people's times. Alright, you too. I'm
tired of the fucking cops being called on me. Bullshit. I'm sorry, but this is bullshit, YouTube. Fuck my YouTube trolls. They couldn't get me with the fucking cat food. So they're like, I know, Cobra's waving around his fucking toy gun, trying to fucking fix it on YouTube. So let's fucking waste the cops' time. Fuck off! You happy? You got what you wanted! You know what pisses me off, YouTube? Wasting the cops' time. You want to bully Cobra? I'm used to it. I am fucking used to it. You sit there and fucking send me bullshit DoorDash orders, trying as hard as you can to get me to freak out on camera because you think it's funny to bully an autistic person. Viewers my ass. I'm sick and tired of the fucking Casper Police Department coming over here because of my fucking cocksucking faggot YouTube trolls. I said several times in the video, it's not a real gun. It's fake. It's empty. And you still gotta pull this shit. Pussy ass motherfuckers! Oh, you think it's funny? You think it's funny watching an autistic freak out? You won't think it's funny when it happens to you, dude. Straight the fuck up. Don't tell me to fucking chill the fuck out when you've been fucking harassed your entire goddamn life and bullied by everyone and rejected by every chick you've liked since the fourth grade. Don't tell me to fucking chill the fuck out, you little pussy ass faggots. Oh my fucking God. I pull up my prop pistol for nostalgic purposes, and I'm already bummed out because I gotta replace it if I wanna do that for my costume this year for Halloween. And I'm like, it's no big deal. It is what it is. Oh, but no, we gotta call the cops on Cobra for waving a fake gun around. I'm tired of it. Stop wasting the cops' fucking precious time. They've got better things to do with their fucking life than sit here and fucking harass me in an autistic... Oh my god, dude. 